going to make a mobile website. Do a control N or file new. And we're going to make our maximum width 600, even though it's going to be um, smaller than that. It'll get shrunk down for your mobile. Fluid width, we're just going to do fixed width and advanced settings. Let's get rid of the margin. Let's do zero across the board and center align. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And uh, standard resolution, sticky footer. Okay, everything's good. Press OK. Let's save it. File, save as, save site as. And we're going to go into our folder, whatever folder you're putting it into. I'm putting it into um, desktop seminal, seminal mobile. I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to name it Seminal because it's for class mobile. Enter. Okay. And let's open up the PSD. Here we go. And we're going to put all this information in. Let's start at the top. Okay, what we can do is slice the tool slice tool no oh, it looks like i've already sliced it up a little bit here let me fix that we're going to slice the top one and then we'll slice this one we didn't slice the home one because the home one in contact gets sliced defaultly when i slice other ones that are in between it i'm going to want this as text I'm going to select this one that is an image. This is an image. And this one is an image. Back to top as an image. And all rights reserved. I'm going to actually write that in so <clears throat> so it's text and I can click on it. So let's do file, export, save for web. And click and drag inside that bounding box. And then we can click on JPEG or PNG. I'll go with JPEG. Quality 100%. Go for it. Save. Now we're going to go back to my websites. Go back to my desktop, Seminole, Seminole Mobile. And I'm going to make a new folder called images so I keep everything nice and organized save that let's go back to muse let's open up our master and let's start placing things file place let's place all right where am I ha <laughs> web skins desktop seminal mobile images Oh, it went into images, images. Yeah, let's fix that right now. Close that. I want to go back to, oops, there's what I wanted. Let's go back to my images folder, images. Let's snag these. You can do like in Command X, Control X, and then Paste, Control or Command V, and then get rid of this images folder. So it made an images folder inside of that, which is convenient, but yeah sometimes all right so file place let's go to our websites oops back in it again web scans seminal mobile images okay let's get the top one bam right in there all right so why isn't this 600 wide this is strange let me just make it 600 Let's see if that works for now. It says 700 up here. That's crazy. Bring it back to that. Let me see. File, site properties. Maximum with 800? No, that's not what I want. So it's good to know, Muse. We went into, let me, I'll show you it again. File, site properties. And made sure that our maximum width was 600, not 800. And that our gutter says 20, that's fine. I guess uh, minimum height. We're going to go long. We're going to have three pages. Click OK. Let's see if that worked. 
Huh. Site properties, 600, click OK. Delete that, let's do it again, file place. It's good to uh, mess up so you know what's going on. Oh, look at that, it, it tweaked back to 600. All right, good. So this page right here, I want this to be the index. Um, it will go back to the home page. So if I click on that and drop down link here, click on home, that will go back to the home page if someone clicks up here. Also want to make a Facebook link. That will go to HTTP www.facebook.com press enter and then press open link in new window tab and then we can alt drag this over to the Twitter and we can write Twitter press enter and now we have Facebook and Twitter let's save control s to save now we have a header up here let's bring the header down and then we have the bottom of page and bottom of browser i'm going to bring these down all right um the header i want the header to be uh, a little lower because i want to put the navigation here and i want the navigation to be on every page I had the layers open right now so i have my rectangles in here Let's put the navigation in file place. I'm going to click all three of these. And this is going to be the phone number. And press enter. And I can click, 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 click. Fun, right? Take the home. Put it there. About there. Contact here. And phone number here. Zoom down. Let's bring the header. Oops. If you click on something like this, <clears throat> you see this right here, the vertical move handle moves everything underneath it, which is convenient, but uh, sometimes if you click on it, you're, you go like, uh-oh, whoops, I didn't mean to touch that. So I'm going to move that out of the way so I can get to the header knob. Header knob. All right, the header knob is going to go a little bit under call us today. Okay. All right, let's bring bottom of the footer and the bottom of the website down. Where is this? Bring this up to go there. And we're going to put the footer in now. File place. This is the footer. Actually, I want to put the footer and the back to top button, file place, back to top button. And see that vertical move handle? Oops. Well, that should have brought back down everything, but let me bring this up, the footer up. Let me bring this down just a little bit. Bring this down. Do, 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 do. And then bring this down. Okay. And then the footer. Bring it just over the back to top button. And there we go. We should be good. Let me bring this down just a little bit too. I don't have it exactly straight across from it. I have it down a little bit further. And then when I do the footer, I have the footer a little bit higher than this. It's good for white space and often for not messing up in Muse. So that's... Um, I'm going to call this one master layer because it has all the master information. Let's close that. Let's open up the, the home page. Look at that. Oh, look. Can we bring that up? Can't. I'm going to go back to the mobile and see if we can fix the bottom. All right, let's bring that up a little bit. There we go. Save. And then we can preview it. There we go. 
Now, what's really important is this is going to go on to, um, this is a mobile website. So we're going to have to put an HTML code in it in the header tag. Open up your master page. This looks a little different because it has a white on, on the sides. Uh, when I open up my home page, the white's not there. So don't worry about it. If you do see the white on the sides uh, on the home page, I don't think you'd have to worry about that either. It's just margin stuff. Um, <clears throat> all right. So in the master page, we want to do file, I mean, page, page properties. And in the HTML for your head, you want to put a meta name equals viewport content equals width equals 60. So write that down or copy it, put it on a notepad or something, and then put it into the metadata for HTML for your header. This right here is going to say that if the width is lower than 600, it's going to show this website. So um, this our graphic is 600 pixels wide, and this should work for any kind of mobile device. So um, got my fingers crossed because I'm I'm pretty new to Muse, but I've been well new to Muse with uh, mobile. So. I've been doing it with desktop for a while now and just no problem. But when it comes to mobile, it's, you know, it's everything is still new right now. You know, it's crazy. Click OK. Then we can close that page. You don't have to put that on the home page. You don't have to go to home page, page properties, and then put it in the HTML header here. No, you don't do that because you put it on the master page. It's going to be for all the pages. All right, Command S to save. We're in Muse, and let's keep going. Let's make a new layer, and let's call it Home. Okay, and let's zoom down a little bit, and let's file place. I want to place the um, images. These are the three images that are going to go in to the home page. One, two. Three. I'm going to zoom out. Control Alt, spacebar. It's like this is like Facebook. I mean, in, like um, Photoshop and uh, InDesign all put into one. It's crazy. Notice how when I push down, it pushes the bottom footer down. I love that. That's great, isn't it? So these are the images I'm going to have. I'm going to have this one. This is the first image for the first website, then this is going to be my second image, and then this is going to be my last one on the home page. Save that. So let me get the text that's going to be in the image uh, inside the website here. Let's grab that, copy. I use lorem ipsum. I'm not really interested in how you... Um, what you write on the, because this is just learning how to use Muse. Next one, you're going to be making, I will looking at your text. All right, so Muse, let's open this up a little bit bigger so I don't accidentally click on Photoshop in the background. All right, let's make this bigger. All right, does that look good? It's a good size, good size don't like the color i'm going to go with like a grayish there we go i don't want to be in people's faces i just want it to be red still too dark i think let me click here let me bring the gray down a little bit more i think that looks good that's great okay websites could go a little bit bigger and maybe the text go a little smaller so there's some hierarchy Get my move tool. Let's see if I have any more. All right, I like to have click on example a little bit lower than that. Let me have a hyperlink. That's um, this is going to go to the Women's Learning Center a website that I made. So I'm going to go on to my website, webskins.com. I'm going to click on websites and I'm going to get that link real quick so I don't have to search for it. I need this one, need this one, and I'll need this one for today. So I'll snag that, go back to Muse, and I'm going to put that link right there. Press Enter, and then click on Open 
hyperlink and new window. Okay, first thing you see is, hey, why is that blue? Okay, well, we can get this color right here. 696969. And we can go up here to site properties, content, and let's make a new. Um, let me see, this is a gray text. I'm going to call it gray text underline. And then I'm going to go click on the color right there, put the color in here, press enter. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want 6969. Click on hover. Now, visit it, all these other ones, you know, and you're on a mobile device, you're just going to have the normal. And I'll have it underlined. And then these other ones I'm going to check off. Even if it hovers over it, it could, um, it might look like the check goes, uh, the underline goes away, but we'll see. Click OK. And now I have to um, highlight, click on example, click on the text up here, and then click on default link style and click on gray text underline. And there you have it. Let's zoom out a little bit. And then spacebar, like Photoshop, makes it in the hand tool and you can push things around. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. That goes with that one. So I want to click on the websites and click and drag. Alt click drag and that um, copies and duplicates it. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this down. All right, so I want this one and this one to be kind of like the same further for this uh, spacing i would say right about there and then i want to bring this down just a little bit further just give that some space let's uh preview that okay looking good let's go down to the bottom here and I'm going to write, instead of websites, I'm going to write, um, what did I write? Uh, let's write, um, oh, mobile websites. Because now you can make mobile ones, right? Now we have this set up to go to the women's, or is it this right here? We got that one to go click on example. We also want this, if they click on that, to go to the women's learning center. And then open a new link in a new window. Okay, so let's do that for Carter Water. Copy. And then paste. Open a new window. Double click in here. And this one is going to go to Carter Water. Hyperlink opens a new window. Good. And let's do. One more, Alt Shift, drag this, Alt Shift, and let's see, let's drag it down a little bit longer, further, and then let's bring this down to about there-ish, save it, looks good, and then we need to get the Dr. Brian Coleman, Muse, click on that, drop down, press, uh, paste it in, press enter, open a new link, let's get, uh, click on example, let's click on Dr. Brian Coleman, hyperlinks, good, move tool, first page is almost done, um, need to go back to the, mo to the master, go down to the bottom, click on back to top, we need to make a anchor at the top up here. Let's do, uh, let's make sure we're on a master. Okay. We're going to do object, insert link anchor right at the top here. We're going to name it top. There's our top. I want to make it right in the middle. 300 is the middle. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. And home button goes to the top. The about page, but well, we got to make those one thing at a time, right? Let's make a new one of these and say about. Make another one. Contact. See how quick, quick and easy this is. Go back to the master. Click on about, and then click on about here. Contact, and click on contact. 
call us today. T E L colon one two three point. Actually, we don't have to put those in. Four five six seven eight nine zero. Uh, press enter, and now that will open on a browser. If we go here, press refresh, and we have the about contact. Um, oh, I need to uh, preview. File, uh, preview site and browser. Since, let me see, come down here and press on call us today. And it says, how do you want to do this? I, want, I don't want that, but we have about, contact, all ready to go. Okay, if I click on about, there's nothing there. Click on home. I have my website, I got my home page, which is great. Back at the top, we got to do that, and that's next. So on the master page, let's keep going down. Click on back to top, drop down. We're going to do the top home top, not about or contact top. You want the home top because uh, the top has gone on all of these pages. Home top or just, uh, I would, yeah, I would do top because what's going to happen is it's going to scroll through the website and it's going to look cool. Click top. And then this one is going to go to my website to webskins.com um, for um, being quick and everything I'm not going to make this text but I would make this text if I did it myself because I want my name webskins to be in text um, so I have um, kind of a web ring going so I'm more um, uh, reputable on Google. So Google sees my name on other websites and linking back to my website. So that's what you want to do. All right. So let's close the master page. That's good. Let's open the home page. And on the home page, we have all this information. Okay. Home page is looking good. Let's do um, on the about page. I'm just going to write about and um, I'm not really worried about anything on that page, but the uh, contact page, we're going to put a contact form. All right, let's put this here. I want to write um, about, oops, close that page, and then open up the contact page. I'm going to paste. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to write contact on here. I would probably put um, my phone number and yada yada, some little bit of niceties there. And then I'm going to put window, uh, where are my widgets, widget library. Let's get a form. We want a simple contact. Drag and drop. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Put that right. Put that right there. And um, I'm gonna go in here and click on name, and make that text Arial. I'm not a serif person when it comes to websites. And then bring the font bigger. And you'll see it does it to all of them at the same time. Cool thing about the form is we can kind of move things around. Oh, great. There's a car in my neighborhood that's making a noise. I should bring this one down too. And then down here where it says form received, we can double click on that and say, um, thank you for getting in touch with us. We will get back to you as soon as we receive this form. All right, make sure everything is spelled correctly. <laughs> thank you for getting in touch with us. We will get back to you as soon as we receive. I after E except after C. This form. 
and then I'm going to get all that, go up here to text, and then do my letting. Because I want to have a little more space between each sentence. I like that. There we go. It goes away. And then once someone submits it, that's when they will see that text. Okay. And then we'll put contact form, email to, after sending, stay on current page, and that thing will pop up. If you were doing, um, I have another uh, tutorial that you watched in the last in another assignment where you would do a CAPTCHA. I would do that. I'm just doing this to show you how to make a mobile website. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back home and I'm saving it. And now let's uh, file preview site and browser. Okay, here we go. We got a home about. Let's go to about. That's about back to top. Uh, contact has contact information back to top. Let's click on home and home has all my information here. So the next thing I would do is uh, publish this FTP, put in your web skins or whatever your .com is. And then I have a huge password. Put my password in next. I'm going to put my web skins in again, whatever your .com is. And then folder on the server. Um, Mine is public underscore HTML, and then I'm going to make a new folder called Seminole underscore mobile. Seminole, semi, oh, I can't spell, man. I am. My fingers do not do what my brain wants to do. Only modified files, that's fine. Click OK. OK, does not exist. Do you want to create it? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. So, um, do you want to do, 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 do? say ignore, go, and there it goes. And let's go to my web skins and then write in seminal underscore mobile. Press enter, and it's getting there. There, it's uploading. Do, 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 what I want you to do is I want you to put your website URL once you've uploaded it. I want you to submit that as your uh, homework. Okay, da, 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 click OK. Refresh. There it is. So I want you to take this right here, copy it. That's what I want you to submit that URL. 